Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome uh, to a uh, trans... Is it transatlantic or is it trans-Pacific? I, I, I was like, God, I, you were going to go for there. I was like, what are you, where are you starting this? Trans what? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our transphobic <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, we are doing this. Um, firstly, apologies. Um, yeah, it was that this week's is slightly late. We aren't the best at uh, it, technology, either of us. It, it was also funny that my fault. I messaged you going like, "Right, right, what day? Well, we're going to have to try and do this today." And you were like, "I messaged you to do it last night," and I was like, "Ah, ah shit, I could play." I know it's fucking. I, I, th- I it was fucking <laughs> unbelievable because I had suggested a time and you were like, "Ah, that sounds grand. That sounds grand." And I was kind of sitting about going, "I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here," but. Uh, I'm sure Ryan's got it under control and I'll get a link at some point and then I went oh maybe he's got a shitload of gigs I won't bother and then like, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've, at that moment I was sitting watching The Gentleman <laughs> well, oh yes yeah yeah a class film yeah, I was yeah so so Ryan is in I've just realised I fucking look greasy as out in this um, I uh, so uh, how's Australia it's great I'm allergic to everything it's very funny. Like, uh, uh, you can, Excellent. Uh, for some reason, this can't even come out, but I've got like, a, I look like a Japan flag. I have like a, you know, like <laughs> just a red, red circle around my head and in my hair and right. shit. It's like psoriasis, which is meant to be go away with me when I get sun. But apparently in Australia, it's just like, yeah. I've been sick at least half of oh, the really? 50% of my time here. <laughs> it's been very funny. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. How's uh, the gigs been? Gigs been great. There was like literally one bad one. One where like a hundred and fifty people just stared at me, going, "What is this?" Yes. <laughs> right. Tell us. Tell us about that one. Yeah. Don't give a shit about the good ones. <laughs> the rest of them have been great. Uh, it was, of course, it's just the moment where like it's the first time I acknowledge. I went, "Fucking hell!" I've heard because I've heard that the crowds can be a bit touchy here at times. You know, and Australia. And I went, "All right." Uh, and then I was like, "He's full of shit." Like you know, I remember Sloss used to complain about Adelaide. And uh, yeah, and then I went and I was like, he's such a fucking, he's full of absolute crap. Uh, I was laughing with it, <laughs> and then just the because uh, Jean was here, so I met up with Jean beforehand. So Jean comes to the show, and uh, she was just like, "Ah, Daniel's always like that. Don't worry." And then and she was there for it. She was there for the right for the opening joke where everybody just kind of went, "Oof!" It was like a, it was just like a collective one person going, "Yeah, no." Nah. Yeah, is it the? Is, I think it's the classic yeah. opening joke. Yeah, tis I, uh, tis I. Uh. I've been writing stuff though while I'm here, which is handy, because because it, it's like a, well, that's good. Because it's like a complete free for all. You you're here for a month and you actually have time, so you're like, all right, I'll get three, four jokes in every night. So yeah, man. Uh, so is it? Uh, what are you doing local? Oh, what local material? No, Australian I, I, Australian based material. I, I have I have one Aussie joke that gets me into them. Which is basically, it's fucking shite here. Thank God there's a sauna somewhere to cool off in the evenings. That's all. They love that. They, they, <laughs> they, thank God the hotel's got a sauna. They're all like, ah, oh, brilliant. This, oh, who's this guy? Who uh, the fuck is that? Who's guy? this cheeky chap? <laughs> <laughs> and after that... Is that a new jump? Oh, that oh, sorry, that, is, that is a new jumper, I guess. I was going to say, wow. I don't, I don't, don't fucking start with jumpers. I haven't been wearing jumpers even. All right, obviously, but this is this is right. this is because that every the the apartments are all like air conditioned. It's a big thing here, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. Do you know what I'm? Do you, do you know what I'm wearing? What? That's any. That's making it sound like we're on a sex call. There, <laughs> <laughs> like take take a guess what I'm wearing. This, and I'm wearing an. I'm wearing an Udi. Oh, I love them. Are you aware of Ood? I have one. Oh, my God. I have one. Oh, fuck. That incredible. I'm raging because I was going to go straight for you, and I went, I have one. <laughs> They're literally... Like, we we put off buying them for ages because we thought it would become just like a fucking slovenly thing where we'd just never, ever take them off. And, my God, I never take yeah. this bastard off. Yeah. I, d- I drove back up from Liverpool one day with it on. <laughs> 
just literally that. And I, and I was like, should I put my jacket on? Should I put a T-shirt on when I went in to buy petrol? <laughs> well, I thought, hoodie all the way. Just walked in there like fucking Clint Eastwood. Like, <laughs> did, hold on, did you did you not have like, <laughs> what happens if you crashed and they found you? They had, they ripped you out with the jaws of death. <laughs> they were like, this con's got well, slippers, be, uh, slippers and a hoodie on. Yeah, they'd be... <laughs> They'd be sad because the world would have lost a cool motherfucker <laughs> that day. So. <laughs> Could, it, coming out to you, Amy. We <coughs> we couldn't save the Udi. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Imagine it just gets folded up and put on my coffin at the funeral, <laughs> like a flag, <laughs> and then passed to Amy. <laughs> 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 At least he died in comfort. Uh, <laughs> so how's how's the how's like the nightlife been and shit? Um, well, uh, do you know what the nightlife has been here is basically like uh, we've been walking past. Uh, apart from everyone looking like a supermodel here for some reason, everybody, uh, ev- mm. all uh, like you know, it's very funny when you're on stage, uh, like trying to abuse a couple. Uh, and the goods basically yeah. Ryan Gosling, and you're like, "What oh, the fucking head, new cunt?" Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. I, I was pretty. Really I mean, and the women too. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. yeah. Uh, that was a a nice wee a nice wee mention of Ryan Gosling, <laughs> even though you lost that debate. So, uh... <laughs> now, uh, do you hey. know every time um, the, the nightlife is currently on my walk home from the venue. I walk past this bar called the mm. Exeter, and it's where just basically in the exact same seats, basically Mickey Bartlett, mm. McFerry, and Dan Willis are sitting yes. pretty much every evening. So you can either go, I better take a different route home if I'm not drinking tonight, <laughs> or else, or I'm, or I'm else, getting on it with and then you're yeah. walking past, going, God, I hope I don't walk into these boys. <laughs> oh, amazing! We're, amazing. Was it got the Exeter? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just an, uh, that's what I call my that's what I call my arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Exeter. <laughs> Do you know uh, we're going to the zoo after this? <laughs> I didn't see when you said uh, I'm go- we're going to the zoo. I assumed that was part of the festival, or it was one of the things. I didn't mean you. I didn't think you meant the actual. Yeah, we're just going to the zoo. We're just going to the zoo. We got Adelaide Zoo. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully there's some red. Any good? Hopefully there's some red pandas. Well, well, you I, won't know. I won't go. <laughs> I'll go after this. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you on next week's. Spot. Uh, Who are you going with? Mick Ferry, uh, Mickey Bartlett, uh, Luke Benson here, uh, Mark Simmons, uh, with five or six of us. All right. Oh, cool. I want to see red pandas. Why do you look? Why? They're great. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're great. They're like the best animal. I think they're the sh- I think they're the shitter of the two Are pandas. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I have I've got a. Red... Is there only two? Is there only? Is there only two? Red pandas and pandas. Oh, I give it to you. Red yeah, pan- red there's... red pandas are a bit smaller. Like you know. Right. Aye, but but they're what, so. What makes them red? They're red. What you don't know the red? No, but what makes them red? What do you mean? I do know what a red panda well, is. What do you mean? I've what? seen the film. <laughs> what, minute, what, minute, what film? <laughs> there's a film. There's a film. There's a film. I think it's actually called Red. It's like a. It's like a, either a Disney or a Pixar film, okay. where it's like a wee Asian kid, and a, it's like a metaphor for a teenage girl having her period for the first time, basically. <laughs> but she gets angry as fuck, as women are wont to do. Yeah. Um, on their periods, and uh, it's like every time. It's, I, I mean, I say I've watched it. I saw the trailer, and then my kids watched it. And they told me a bit about it, so I'm giving this very much third hand. Here. Well, okay, but as far as I know, but, uh, there's an Asian kid that when she comes to get her period, turns into a red panda. That's that's insane. But I, I like I want. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Now for the, we're going to do that for the podcast if I find it. That's that, that's mad yeah. enough. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll find out what it was called. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, do you know what it is that makes them? But no, that was a genuine, oh, honest right. question because obviously all pandas are black and white. Mm, okay. Right, and there's a specific thing <laughs> that makes the red panda red. Do you know what it is? No. I thought you're going to communism. <laughs> 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 it's their communist tendencies. <laughs> they wear black and white, and then they read Hegel and Marx, <laughs> and they're now communist as fuck. So they're red pandas. They're red because they're embarrassed. <laughs> 
embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're tiny compared to the rest of them. Oh, fuck is God, it's made me laugh a lot. Um, so the time. So what time is it there just now for you? It's nine a.m. Half nine. 9.20. There's a half an half hour. Nine. I didn't know these existed. There's places where half an hour time difference. Yeah, I can I can because I had a look earlier on what time it would be in Adelaide. At, and so it's like 10 at night here for me. Yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's nearly 11 actually now. Uh, is it? Oh, fuck, I, it's nearly 11. Um, aye, so nine, so it was half 10 that you said and that's nine for you so I, I, I had no idea there was half hour yeah I, I didn't know it. time zones I don't know it's fucking stupid anyway I think it's because they don't fucking ish. I think these blood refuse to do daylight savings is what happens well that doesn't yeah someone told me that and I was like that makes less sense to me now <laughs> they fucking I remember the, the only time I've been in Australia I remember saying because I was in Sydney and I remember saying to one of the comics if I hired a car and drove to Perth. Like, how long would it take me? And they're like that. How? Wh- when are you stopping? I'm like, I'm not stopping. I'm fucking Mad Max all the way, right? Straight line. How long would it take me? And they were about. They were like four days. And I was like, what? How fucking insanely big is your country? This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's a, that is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Jesus. S- s- yeah. Somebody was complaining about being jet lagged last day, and I was like, where? Where'd you come from? They were like, ah, I came from Perth. I say like, what? Fuck, fuck you, can't get, you can't get nah. That's that's bullshit. Yeah, you can't get jet lagged in your own country. They they might have been over. Nah, because I've got. They may have been over. There's got to be what like three. They might get. There's got to be like three time zones in Australia. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Because yeah. how many is how many is there in America? Don't there's in Eastern East Co- time. Yeah, Central time, Western Central time, time. I presume. And then Western time. <laughs> So three, four at best. Yeah, yeah. So you're not getting jet lagged. You're not getting jet lagged, losing or gaining four hours. Yeah, yeah. No, not really. No, I wouldn't say so. Uh that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, do you know what? Um, I've been showing uh, the kids this week. <laughs> oh no, me and me and the kids. <laughs> I've watched uh, the back, the Back to the Future trilogy. Oh great! Have they not seen it? A lot. Never seen it. A lot of pressure. <laughs> A lot of pressure on them. Because it was, it's genuinely one of those films that if they didn't like it, if they didn't like it, then questions were going to start getting raised as to they walk into the how long I was hanging, <laughs> yeah, how long I was hanging around for. To be honest, because oh, you but no, they fucking loved it, man. Oh, great! Well, that's handy. Absolutely, absolutely fucking loved it. Be... And it's so bizarre because me and my wee, me and my wee brother used to love it as kids as well, right? And they laughed at the same bits that we used to piss ourselves laughing at. Oh, good. Like the bits that bits that are funny, but then bits that aren't supposed to be funny, but you suddenly decide. Like there's a bit in Back to the Future 2 when uh, old Biff goes back to 1955 yeah. to give young Biff the sports almanac. Yeah. And he's sitting in his car, and young Biff just turns around and goes, Get the hell out of my car, old man! <laughs> Right, and me and my brother used to piss ourselves and do that impression to our dad every single time we got in the car and saw him in the driving seat. We'd just be like, get the hell out of my car, old man. And they found, that was the funniest bit that they found in the whole film. That's great. It was fucking, it was bizarre. I love the, f- yeah, I love the, f- I love the, class. I love the third one. I love Back to the Future mm. 3. It's a lot better than I remember it being. Yeah, yeah. I quite, we watched that one tonight. I, I, I loved it, actually. Yeah, yeah. I thought 3 was absolutely class. Yeah. I, I, do, I think it's a lot of people kind of brush over it a wee bit. Um, that's my favourite. That's my favourite iteration of, of Biff, of the Tannins. <laughs> well, Mad Dog, <laughs> Mad Dog Tannin. He's my favourite of all the Tannins. <laughs> Mad Dog Tannin's great. Uh, I think he, he's fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> And there's there was a couple of there was a couple of bits in the first one as well that I knew were coming up because that's the one I know the best. And there was a couple of bits where I was like, I wonder if I'm going to have to explain shit to the kids here, or if it's just going to wash over their head like it washed over my head. Like, for example, the bit where his mum basically gets sexually assaulted by Biff <laughs> in the car. It's insane. And I was like, are they gonna are they gonna say? What 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 what's he doing? What's he doing? And I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to answer it. I was like, but luckily they just completely over their heads. Great. No questions whatsoever. It'd, which it'd be, I was delighted about. It'd be even funnier if you did pause it anyway. You 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 had gone away yeah, with yeah. it. 
What's happening here, kids? It's rape. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I get diagrams out like Doc Brown. I was like, right. Oh fucking hell! Oh Christ! Uh, you, you, we, you, right. you probably wish you were chatting about. Uh, you probably wish you were chatting about thing tonight. The Back to the Future, compared mm-hmm. to what fucking Philip I've. <laughs> I've actually. Genuinely, I've gotten messages going like, "Why did you do this?" <laughs> genuinely, the worst. But it might be the worst film I've ever watched in my life. Do you think this is the worst film like, we've honestly, done? Honestly, it's easily the worst film we've done. <laughs> easily. Like, it's not even... Co- like, The Core was a piece of shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> P.S. I Love You was a piece of shit. Yeah, I've dropped the them all in. The Notebook was awful. You dropped The Notebook with right? you, though. <laughs> I did drop The Notebook. But this... This wasn't even... This wasn't even shite because it just wasn't our type of film. It's just shite. Yeah. It's like, there is nothing about this that is good... In the slightest. I remember that. So, if you don't know what we're talking about, by the way, uh, it'd be, uh, we are doing the, the 2007, I think, or something like that. Mm. Cla- classic. <laughs> I say classic. Not one person in this world has ever referred to this as a classic. No. Good luck, Chuck. I remember. <laughs> I remember seeing this in the cinema when it came out. As a way horny Jessica Alba fan, so I was like, "Get me in there." See, I. W- I was going to ask, is that the reason you went to see it? Oh, jeez, God, yeah. She was no, Alba, number yeah. one by a million miles. Aye. For uh, m- most lads' teenage years. Yeah. Do you know, I actually don't find her attractive anymore now after this <laughs> film. That's how yeah. bad this is, right? I consider, like, if I was to, you know those, if I was to give a kind of Roger Ebert <laughs> fucking quote on the poster, right? That's... It would be this film turned Alba into a monster. <laughs> that's how bad this film is. That's that's the most scathing thing you could say about this because she's unbelievable. I found in this. her physically <laughs> repulsive, physically impossible to look at at the end. <laughs> do you know what my favorite thing about this is? Do you know how shite this film is? Uh, we'll get into what the plot line is, but just just mm. Jessica Alba in this film. The funniest thing about it is she's obviously looks like Jessica Alba. But the only way they tried, mm-hmm. they were like, we, now Jessica Alba in real life actually is very funny. She's actually pretty funny mm-hmm. in a load of films. But in this, they were just right. like, the only way we'll make her appealing or like a normal person is we'll just make her clumsy. That that was yeah. that's her that's yeah. her entire personality. Just be like, she's clumsy. That's her massive fault. Yeah. But listen, that's clumsy, <laughs> right? And then there's what they make her do, right? <laughs> Which is right, fair enough, falling over things. Running uh, running the poles. Pu- pu- la la la. Right. Pushing pushing po- pushing pull open doors, all that kind of shit. That's not she fucking stabs the guy in the back, <laughs> right? With two dental implements. <laughs> then electrocutes him, right? That's not clumsy. He, right. See how she falls all the time. She fucking on, in the penguin enclosure, yeah. she slips and smacks her face off like, oh, chip the, the ice. Right? Yeah. Now, I imagine that's not the first time that she's done that kind of thing. How is she still attractive? If she's that clumsy, how, how, why doesn't she look like a fucking rugby prop forward by this point? Cut. The amount of the amount of blows <laughs> she's clearly taken to her face. How is she still that stunning? You're trying to say like a cauliflower ears. That'd be so funny. Exactly, but she'd surely have broken her nose at least three well, times. Well, no, in fairness, so that would that would be all fucked up. The fall and right, first of all, the fall on the ice. Uh, she had mm-hmm. she smacked like the back of her head, and then came out and she was like, "I oh, chipped my yeah. tooth." But really, the, yeah. <laughs> I was like, right. First of all, I was like, if they put the the, the X ray up, they'd probably like, you're, "Oh shit!" No, and your skull is in smithereens. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, yeah, chipped yeah, tooth. yeah. And also, I, also, when she when she does that, she's drowning. <laughs> like if you if you hit take it that hit hard, you're drowning under the ice because our fucking stoner brother isn't. He's doing fuck all. He doesn't even realize she's gone. Like <laughs> yeah, he's fucking. And, do you know like uh, when you just said like you stabbed the person with implements, she falls over and the tray of stuff flies into his back. And I was like, what is mm-hmm. this? What did this dentist have planned? The the instruments that he had. I know. <laughs> They're like no, I know. Aye, these are they are not like we. They're scalpels. Butcher, butcher knife. It, 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 yeah, it takes two scalpels to the back. 
What what dentist uses what dentist uses sharp implements? <laughs> that like they're all drills. They're all electric, right? It would never have gone in. I like to the angle wasn't there. These are sharp, pointy fucking things. I like to do it manual. I like to go on a freehand. Oh my god! The best dentist in town. Just such shite. Like even right. I rem- I, rem- I, I remember I remember before. this. T- this I remember being and this being like dreadful. Uh, but I didn't remember it being this mm. fucking terrible. No. The last thing I'll say, while we're on him being a dentist, right? <coughs> um, and before you tell us the plot, the fucking, quite frankly, ridiculous plot of this, right? He's, he is a dentist, right? His best pal's a plastic surgeon who exclusively only does <laughs> breasts. That's all he does. That That's literally all he does, right? Now, I'll I'll get to him very very soon, right? But they share a floor. What fucking office building is this, where there's a dentist and a plastic surgeon like, it's like the, facing each it's other? It's like the same waiting room. And they, they sh- exactly they share fucking customers. <laughs> this isn't it. Does it's like, and what are the chances of the two of them staying pals? <laughs> And then, it just none of it makes... What, first of all, there's not a chance that fucking prick's becoming a plastic surgeon, right? He's thick as mints, right? There's not a chance Dane Cook's becoming a dentist because he's thick as mints. It's... They do, they, 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 the whole, uh. it's, they've rented it out, they're best mates, they've got it, they've got, it's called Tits and Teeth, and then <laughs> you, you go, <laughs> it, I, I, go on and get Tits and Teeth done. Jesus. Two for one. Christ almighty. Oh, God. Right. The the plot line. Okay, so the plot line is <laughs> right. I reckon this is the easiest way I could say it. A kid gets hexed by a goth, <laughs> so that any time he has sex with a woman, they immediately get married afterwards or find their true love after him. The next person that mm-hmm. they whatever uh, be with that mm-hmm. that is, <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah. oh, what a curse! <laughs> yeah. So he becomes. He becomes well known around town because he's a good luck charm. Yes. Because women go, women are sick of dating arseholes. Mm. So they go, oh, one last arsehole. If we sleep with him, yeah, one last arsehole. And then the next man we meet will be the love of our lives and that'll be us happy. One last right? exeter. <laughs> now, <laughs> when he gets, right, the, the, the very first scene, mm. right, where the goth chick <laughs> curses him. First of all, why is she at the party? Yeah, right. She shouldn't be at that kids' party, right? There's, there's not a, like as 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 inclusive as you want kids to be, right? And by this point, they're fucking arseholes, yeah. Right. Every other kid looks pretty much like your standard American, yeah, child. You know, like perfect teeth, fucking <laughs> gun in hand, <laughs> like just <laughs> flak jacket. And then there's just her. And, but what I love about it is they don't just make her out a goth. She's a witch. Like she's a fucking. She's a. She's a nine-year-old witch. Like what is? Like, what? That's such a. By the way, this is a rom-com apparently, but it's the most. It, it's filled with stalking and raping, and like and sexual assault. Oh, and, right, but that, that there are some that that first dodgy dodgy shit. That, that first that first one even the kid was a, you. <laughs> You, me, closet, seven minutes. Remember one of the kids? <laughs> right. So, when they started playing it, right, I thought they were playing Spin the Bottle, right? Yeah. Now, Spin the Bottle, I played maybe twice in my life. Um, and we had a game, we had a game, did, I don't know if you had this now, we had a game called Kiss, Cuddle and Torture. <laughs> no, I've heard this though. Did you have no. this? Right, where well, you'd chase kids around the playground. And it it was a way for kids, like unpopular kids, to get some kind of action. So you'd kiss, you'd, you'd run around, you'd run around. If you caught someone, you'd say to them, kiss. Right, you, basically what you were saying is, kiss, cuddle, and torture. You need to either get off with me, <laughs> let me cuddle you, and f- touch you up. Or I'm going to fucking waterboard you. That was essentially <laughs> what the kiss, cuddle, and torture was. It, it was. it was smooch. Arsefield or fucking full on Guantanamo, right? That's that's your three choices. I'll be grave. But but I never realised I'd only ever seen this. So I looked up Spin the Bottle in America because I was like, have they got different rules for this? But this is a different game. This is a game called Seven Minutes of Heaven. <laughs> oh right? no. That's apparently really popular oh, with no. kids. 
seven minutes of heaven. Oh, oh, you gone? Oh, you still there? Yeah, yeah. I get. All right, sorry, sorry, man. You pause for a minute. This is a game, right? That's apparently really, really popular with kids at a certain grade level in America. And the idea is, you spin the bottle, and whoever you get matched up with, you go in a closet, right? You don't just go in the closet; you get locked in the closet, right? Someone either locks it if it's got a lock on it, or puts a a, a, a chair up against the handle, so you cannot escape this closet of rape, right? And and then the kids have to basically do whatever they want in there. The only other time I've ever seen it, I saw it, and it's briefly at the start of... The R. Kelly doc. Uh, you ever seen Teen Wolf? <laughs> the R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's briefly at the start of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, <laughs> where the lion and the witch go in there and fuck. <laughs> the, um, no, have you, ever seen, have, you seen, have you seen Teen Wolf? No. The Michael J. Fox film Teen Wolf. Right, it's in that very briefly. But in that, there is no... It's not as... Bizarrely, they are... When they do it, they're high school students. Okay. And it's even less assaulty than it is when these fucking... Children. Seventh graders, or whatever they are. Yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. That, yeah. It was deeply uncomfortable. Doesn't he talk about tits the whole time in there? Uh, it, it, yeah. And you're just watching it going, why is this in this? Why are you getting kids to talk about this? Because it's not funny. It's just uncomfortable. It was... No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just... <laughs> It's even but it, when he gets put in with a goth chick, she, I mean, <clears> she fucking like just says, right, get your dick out. <laughs> and he's like, what? And then she just rips his fucking shirt open, starts scratching him. And you're like, and then he bursts out the door, and that's when she puts the cursor on. Oh, that's right. It's, um, it's a wild start it's, to it, a film. It's not one where the guy just goes, he's probably in there blowjobbing her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. He's probably in there blowjobbing her. Oh I don't giggle at that, but I mean, yeah, yeah. I reckon yeah, child, child sexual assault was a good. What a way to start a film. Sets the tone pretty, pretty. It sets the tone, and then you're like thinking, Christ, that was a hell of a start. Yeah, yeah. The next scene, next scene, Dane Cook is on, um, is on a beach with uh, his girlfriend, right? Yeah. And this, this, I mean, this is a reckon about six minutes into the film. And then the chick uh, gets topless, right? Yeah. One of, I reckon, I, 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 if I had the, if I had the, the heart and the patience, I would go back and watch this film and count the amount of breasts <laughs> that are actually shown in this film. I, I have genuinely, genuinely never seen as many tits <laughs> in a film in my life. There are more tits in this film than there are in porn. <laughs> There's more tits in this than actual pornographic films. It's fucking incredible. This was this was seventy percent tits, thirty percent sexual assault, right? I'll tell you how many tits there was. There's so many tits that it ends up being an odd number. There's, there's so many tits it ends up in an odd number. That's how many. That's, that is inc- <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't even think. Oh my god! That's so god funny. Almighty. But even, <laughs> even that scene. Right, so you're six minutes in, and she's got the jabs out, and then you're like going, "Well, that was quite early." But then they make it even worse because she starts, she starts going down to suck him off on the beach, <laughs> and then he's going, she's going, "Oh, I love you, I love you," and he, he, she's going, "What's wrong?" And then he can't say it back, and then she says, "Here I am licking the sand off your <laughs> balls." <laughs> What? Who fucking wrote this thing? <laughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Like I mean, oh. th- none of the characters you want anything to work out. You n- like none of them. You, no. you're, you're just like you, none no. of you deserve anything. You're all the worst people in the world. Uh, Dean Cook. Yeah. Dean Cook's yeah. deeply unfunny at the best of times. But like in this, yeah. he, he adds an extra bit of like fucking drama student. I'm trying to be funny, Lou, and like oh. you know, waving his arms at everything, and and do you, do you know? Do you see what Dan Cook looks like now? No, oh, man, he's all he's all Botox. He looks like a Madame Tussauds version of himself. It's hilarious. Oh, oh really? Dan Cook looks drip. Yeah, yeah, it's very funny because he's not he's not he's not like leading man. He's not fucking. He's not. He's not he's fucking not, Jessica he's Alba. Not, he's not rom com. <laughs> Aye, but he's exactly. But he's not rom com good looking. No. 
he's, he, like when you consider who would be put in these kind of films at that time, you go, well, you're not you're not matching up to a Gosling. You're not matching up to even a Gerard Butler. You're a fairly standard looking dude. I fairly think I think that this this comes along the lines of when Adam Sandler started casting himself along with Jennifer Aniston. You're like, mm, really? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. Well, this is yeah, this is yeah. this one. Yeah, Jessica Alba and Dane Cook. Because yeah. I reckon she would go fucking nowhere near him. No, <laughs> no. Um, it, it, like, cause, cause they meet. So they meet. At, this is when you first get the idea that any woman that he sleeps with, uh, because he gets invited. But again, he gets invited to his ex girlfriend's wedding. Right <laughs> now, that's never ever happening. Like I, I do not know anyone in my life at all that has been invited to their ex partners. Yeah. Especially not the person you've just been going out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? And then, she, the, the, the le- so for some reason, all these fucking lassies know each other as well, right? Every single woman at this wedding is hot as fuck. Like, there's no ugly women at all. There's no ugly people at this wedding <laughs> apart from one guy, right? Whoa, two dudes. His best pal. No. And this one guy, right? So, the so he, his ex, his ex from previous, his his ex from two ago, is now getting married. She, then during the speech, during the toasts, right? People toast the couple and then toast him. They toast an ex boyfriend at the fucking wedding, <gasps> oh, that's right? right? And nobody bats an eyelid. That's right, sorry. Nobody bats an eyelid at this. Not not one person bats an For eyelid. For being my that, good that luck charm. For being my good luck charm is never was, yeah. And then the one the licking the balls, licking the sand off the balls, chick is at the wedding as well. How they know each other, I've no fucking idea. She, right? <laughs> she catches the bouquet. Right, so that's how you know, all right, she's now going to get married because the last person she pumped was Dane Cook. She's getting, while she carries a bouquet, she's getting off with a guy that looks like fucking Walter White. Like, like this is this old, bald dude that she's getting off with <laughs> in the <laughs> wedding. And you're like, what <laughs> the fuck? He's mad. What a show. What a film. Uh, oh. Do you know this was... At the same wedding, <laughs> fucking Alba pours hot wax over Dean Cook's dick. <laughs> you know, like, was, was that what that was? Because when I saw it, he, she spills champagne, but it, it, I hear it burn, and I was like, what type of champagne is this? <laughs> no, there was a big massive candle in front oh, of right. She knocks that over, and all the wax, all the, the puddle of wax just goes all over his crotch. <laughs> Great, right. What a, what a thing to drop at a wedding over someone. Did you, did you know this was, uh, this was Stanley Kubrick's first film? <laughs> Oh, Christ. <laughs> the, oh. His famous bird scene, uh, you know, Space Odyssey, and then the dropping of wax. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> See when they said that oh. we're going to bring that we're going to bring on the hostess with the mostest. I honestly thought you were going to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? In the wedding, they were like, "And now for the hostess with the mostest," and I was like, "Well, that's Mark." <laughs> That's a, that's Mark's. That's how you. That's how you demand to be brought on at gigs. Uh, oh my God, almighty! I, 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 oh. The bouquet. See, the bouquet hitting the bird, by the way, and the bird landing not in the kids. Oh shit! That, yeah. High art. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that was a shout out to his next that's film, probably, The Birds. <laughs> there's there's only there is two funny, but that that was quite funny hitting the bird. <laughs> I I laughed a lot when the best pal throws. The frisbee and it hits the kid in the face. <laughs> so I thought that was very funny. <laughs> yes, that was the only time. The unintention, the actual jokes in this. The best pal, right, might be the most horrible character I have ever seen in any film. T- totally me- like, meant to be the comedy relief, but just uh, deeply unenjoyable and creepy and weird. Right, because that like. I looked up, right, because I don't know, I know, like, chiropractors <laughs> can practice without having any real medical credentials. Yeah. I think that's that's correct. I, I looked up whether plastic surgeons could, and they absolutely cannot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, this guy has had to take certain oaths <laughs> as a doctor, right? One of the first things he does in the film that we see 
is he invites his pal, Dane Cook, in to look <laughs> at a naked woman, one of his patients, right? He would have been struck off immediately. Like, literally immediately. You can't invite a stranger in. And he says, why did you do that? And he's like, I just wanted to see some tits without having to pay for it. What? <laughs> get, a, get a look at these warlocks. And, and the funniest thing, <laughs> she was fine with it. Oh, my so God. So stupid. They, it, I don't know <laughs> how they got so many actresses to agree to go topless. And I honestly <laughs> do not know how. It must have been like, I reckon this was, this must have been, like, in terms of, like, Me Too movement <laughs> shit, I reckon this and then the fucking... Robin Thick video. Yeah. That must have been like the two juggernauts where everyone just went, nah, come on now. This is getting silly. This do, is. Do you, know, do you know the worst thing is, too? Uh, I was about to say, like, they made all the, the, the women characters so fucking shallow that it's unbelievable. But then I was like, yeah. actually, no, they did it with the lads as well. I forgot, like, just literally yeah. every person in this film is just. Well, here's, here's the thing, right? Because when he says, when he tells the pal, about uh, the problem and he says like oh there's this curse on me and it basically means that people women that have sex with me the next person they find they'll fall in love with so the pals are like this is uh, like you're calling this a curse this is the this is the best thing that has ever ever happened to you so he, he talks them into just pumping everybody because there's women at this point phoning them up get a, ho- and get a ho- hundred and eight voicemails one day remember oh my god does he get sort of a parking ticket because the chick recognises his name, and then, but there's this like th- neither of them, nobody in this is innocent because the women are clearly using him <laughs> because yeah. they're pumping him because they know there's an end game to mm. it, and he's clearly using them because so the, you, like there's nobody <laughs> here that's actually not doing anything. It's like a weird wrong. It's a weird like prostitution. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Why is he not charging for this shit? <laughs> so is he. Like, the amount of money he could have made from that. <laughs> that's probably because that's, prob- yes no. that's probably where they'll start getting into it, because then he'd get arrested, wouldn't he? Wouldn't you? If you, if you, you, aye, cause, true, cause they'd aye. be like, hold on, now you're doing some sort of scam here. <laughs> You've convinced everyone that they're going to yeah, but, defend it. But then even, even when he gets arrested, you just make sure the judge... Is a a horny single woman, but and you like probably, who's desperate for love, prob- and probably has her tits out in the court. If the, by the end of this, <laughs> <laughs> by how the the how this film goes, uh, I mean, so right. Yeah. I get sorry. I get I get dentists earn quite a lot of money, right? How that he seems to have a ridiculous amount of money considering how much he wastes I, I, in this I'm film. And free time. Right? <laughs> yep. First of all, he's got a kick-ass fucking car. Great apartments car. class. Yeah. Right? So he's taking out he's taking out these women. This is costing a fair bit. Right? Then he starts dating Alba and then he's worried about losing Alba because, I uh, will get to that mm. bit where why, why he thinks he's going to lose Alba. He then becomes like a creepy stalker. Mm. And then just starts buying her shit, yeah, it's, right? It's, so that's going to cost a fortune. Yeah. And then at the end, she's going to Antarctica. He buys two. He buys two first class tickets, and the first class tickets come to something like seventy grand. <laughs> and you're like, what? And he just hands over a credit goes, card, oh. and you're like, there is no credit card that's got seventy grand on it. <laughs> There's no need for that. Same. I don't care if you. I don't care what fucking dentist you are. You're not getting 70 grand on a credit they, card. They, that's how shallow this film is. They were like, that's a nice thing to do. Yeah. They, they were yeah, like, that's yeah. that's a real... But really, that was the most stalkery thing. Of all of the mad stalker things yeah. that we get into. Yeah. I think you're the opposite of good luck, Chuck. Every time you have sex with someone, they get divorced. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every time I have sex with someone, they kill <laughs> Imagine if every time you had sex with someone, their partner died. That would be a way darker film. <gasps> oh <laughs> my god, that would be incredible. Yeah, knocking the door and some drunken old lad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> you then start getting sexually assaulted just to try and get your. It's the easiest way to get away with murder. 
Oh. Yep. Um, the scene that is there's a couple of scenes. Yeah. Right. That um will stay with me. <laughs> uh, the montage of shagging when when he's been talked into doing this and it just goes Brady Bunch split skin yeah. where there's like eight different scenes uh, yeah. of him pumping different women in different ways. Mm. Like 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 a Rocky training montage with inspirational music in the background. <laughs> and it's just and every single I've obviously every single one of them's got their tits out. So there's sixteen tits already. <laughs> yeah. We've already had two at the start, we've had the two there, so we're up to twenty easily yeah, yeah. by this point, right? That was an incredible <laughs> scene to behold. Like some so, of the shit so long that <laughs> some of the shit that happens in that's cause You've got standard pumping. Yeah. You've then got you've got a woman for some reason being where where legs behind her head, like actually physically behind her head, and then he folds her arms <laughs> inside. So she almost becomes like a like she looks like a crisp. Pret- like you're just pumping like a Pringle. Pretzel. Like. And then and then there's a woman actually physically in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> She's in a wheelbarrow. It's outside in the day, and she's in a wheelbarrow getting horsed by Dane Cook. <laughs> it's one of the fucking... Yeah, I can't even remember. Everything had to be a ridiculous... Um... Oh. Is, that, is this... Am I thinking of a different film when she, one of them keeps trying to do dirty talk? Like, fuck me. Fuck me. Is that the... Yeah, no, that, 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 that's this. in this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah that's I don't know why. That came into oh, my... that is in this. That was weird. That, that yeah. Wasn't... She, becomes de- she becomes demonic. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a bit, did you see the joke they do when um, he pulls off the pants, he pulls off the trousers of some girl and she's got a a small pants on and there's this big massive ginger pubes poking out the yeah, top yeah. of it. And then above it she's got a tattoo that says George W. <laughs> Why the fuck was that in the... Oh, what, like, I, I, I don't know why the fuck that was in the film. Just the, do, you, do you know... Like you can just imagine <sighs> the screenwriters that day going, oh, yes, we need to get a Bush joke <laughs> in there. Oh, fucking take the rest of the week they, off, they, boys. We have nailed this they one. They definitely thought that was unbelievable. They, oh. do, you know, do you know what's excellent, too? Do you know... We know the part where they, they found out ways because, like... Like Jess Galba basically what just doesn't do nudity. But in this they try their very best yeah. to get as much as they could <laughs> out of yeah. out of her. Like like the time when she caught her skirt on the car door and, and aye, rip, aye. rips her entire fucking skirt clean off. Mind you, my aunt yeah. got her skirt caught in the, an escalator in Letterkenny Shopping Center <laughs> and ripped the whole thing clean <laughs> off her. <laughs> <laughs> Should he, should he run into the nearest shop? Like, give me, give me some clothes. That's amazing. So that, that's so amazing. I couldn't believe that that's actually happened. You know, shout like that in a rom com. I do know somebody. She was alone, so it wasn't that like a rom com. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. In the weekly shop and got it torn off. But do you know there was a? Boss, there was a guy in our town that got his. There was a guy in our town got his foreskin caught in an escalator that's one. The fucking lies. That is lies. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Don't even try and pass that on. What the? How would he get it? <laughs> <laughs> then he just stood up and he goes, Oh, it's a bar mitzvah. Oh, I don't, it's not even a bar mitzvah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they, so don't cut your dick uh, off in a bar mitzvah. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Mazel tov. Um. <laughs> Wait, bloody gawk. <laughs> Do you know, when she gets her skirt cut off, by the way, she, her, her underwear has a penguin on it. You know, and she's a penguin mm. trainer, which is fucking, which is like us having Jerry Seinfeld boxers. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. As I, <laughs> my, where's my, where'd I put my Cosby briefs? <laughs> <laughs> they they do do they do because I I I think I remember reading this about Alba. She does have a no nudity. Clause, which if you've got a new nud- no nudity clause, why the fuck are you anywhere near this film? Yeah. Because there is no other film that's it's it's like it be like it be like doing a Tarantino film but having a I don't go near guns kind of clause, <laughs> right? That that would be the yeah yeah right. So 
<laughs> I'm doing a Tarantino film, but I don't like feet. Well, you're in the wrong fucking film. So uh, the um, great. They do do a scene. They do do a scene where she does like a, a kind of strip tease when he's in the phone. Yeah, yeah. Tease. Pal. I remember that well. Um, yeah, I bet you do. Uh, I remember that from when uh, I was a kid. All right. Uh, uh, you do see you do you do see some Alba side boob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that. yeah, yeah. But I, yeah. but he's he overreacts the entire not overreacts he does overreact he overreacts literally everything in it. But the curling up in the fucking mm. she sends him a nude in the bath and he starts going like Ugh! and he pretzels inside the bath and you're oh, just God. like this is the war. Oh, this is the war. Jesus. The the other scenes. My, yeah. That. The one that sticks to me, just because I know I'm going to forget it, is when she cry mm. when the woman get cries, they gets close to him and then tries to molest him in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. Jesus, there's a it's relentless. Shit. When he pumps he, when he pumps his secretary. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So he's he's got he's got he's got a secretary who, uh, I'm assuming she's found out from the multitude, the harem of women. <laughs> That are hanging about the surgery these days, and she he turns up to his house, and then she's got like lingerie on, but she's older, yeah. uh, and bigger. Yeah, like slits not shy about here because they don't. Yeah, um, and then she says, "Oh, just s- since my husband died, I really wanted love." So, <laughs> and then she climbs on top of him on a table, right? A table which then collapses <laughs> because she's so big. Fucking stupid! So, what a fella. But, but the, this whole scene, right, goes from really, like, really of really of really offensive and just take the piss to being really heartfelt because she's so she's going. Ah, my husband, since I've been a husband, I, I, I've not been able to find love. So you go, ah. Oh. But she's such a fat bastard that she's just crushed the table. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And then, and then she goes, <laughs> then she fucking, right, she, 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 she when he, she, so he's like, no, 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 I don't want to do this, and she just goes, just imagine it's somebody beautiful, <laughs> right, and he, he grips her face and just goes, I'll just imagine it's you then, and you go, no, don't, don't try and be heartfelt in a scene which is essentially, <laughs> that, that is horrible, like, don't, this is disgusting, it's because, they go, they go for that heartfelt thing, right? Where he goes, I'll just imagine it's you then, right? So you go, oh God, that's that's like a nice moment of what he's doing something for her and she's needing that. It immediately cuts to his pal going, you fucked the secretary? What, you fucked Shamu? And you're like, what? Like, what is this? <laughs> There's so much bad shit in this show. The, the, when, remember when she, she has oh. to get that woman, the most ridiculous character, the fat woman by the pool? As well to like oh. to like test out. This is later in the film, isn't it? Basically, when he has to cast mm. test out if the curse is gone. The only way we'll know is if yeah. And she's just eating like uh, she goes. I'm going to ride you till you die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'm going to fuck you to death. They don't. Uh, well, they don't just stop at making her fat. They give her like spots all over her body. <laughs> she's got like big sores and stuff on her back. Jesus Christ rapist as well they met her they met her just a, a mental i'm gonna ride you till you die i'm like the, unbelievable oh did you but he ends up he ends up giving he ends up giving her a thousand dollars to sleep with him i just love it I just got more more money wasted more more money out of his oh his massive oh. paycheck do you know uh, there was two guys but i found the most unrealistic part was the fact there was two guys playing frisbee in the park chatting to their yeah. That's what that's they were like. We need yeah. right. We need two used to be chatting about something. We just need some a, a, like a scene. So imagine us two yeah. chatting about fucking comedy for all the frisbee each other. Never would happen. No, no. Literally, no. You have them having a pint. Yeah. Put them having a pint. Put them at, put them at a baseball yeah, yeah. game. Why the fuck are they throwing <laughs> a frisbee? No, I've never known two lads. If I was to say to anybody, any of my friends, no, do you want to come to the park to chuck a frisbee about? No, I don't. <laughs> You fucking yeah. weirdo. Is there trees there you can dangle yourself off on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, all right, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh. Yeah, the w- the waiting room full of people um, trying to shag him. It's like, how many people has he been was he banging per day? It, exactly. A- exactly. And and what like uh, just 
I like to I, again, I like to think he was I'd like, I'd, like, I'd like to think he was like this curse does this does not work if I have to wear a condom just so you all know <laughs> <laughs> he walks out into the waiting room just so you all know so uh, any risks that you're on you're actually you can fi- you can sign the thing with my secretary and she's like she doesn't know what's going on she thinks they're all there for her teeth at the start what <laughs> 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 the, the, Do you know what? There, there is, there is, there's so many bits of this that just flip from one idea to another. Like when he goes to visit, if he tracks down the goth witch, <laughs> right, to basically beg her to take the curse off, <laughs> right, and he turns up at her door, and she's now attractive, and he say he's he's like, oh, it's me, it's me, and she goes, I don't know who the fuck you are, and. It's like, remember, uh, junior high, we played uh, all that kind of stuff. And then you go, all right, so um, her thing is that she's basically saying, um, there is no curse, you're just, you, you end up with who you're meant to end up with. First of all, to get into her house, she asks him to show him his dick, show her his dick. Because you just see the, the pal watching them on the doorstep and he just drops his trousers. And then she sees the dick and lets him in. Right, and then so she says. So there's this whole message where she goes, "Oh, there is no curse. There is no curse. If you're meant to be with someone, you will be with them." Right. So you go, "All right." So that's the message of the film. (laughs) And then it cuts to her at the end, going to a shoebox, taking a fucking voodoo doll and taking a pin out of his heart. (laughs) So, so he was cursed, and also there was all her voodoo dolls. (laughs) <laughs> yes, there was. Yes, how many people? Are- that's what I was talking about. There were all their voodoo dolls. I was like, God, that's that's so fucked. Why did no one stop this child? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. The, the, basically, the idea in this film is he gets so bored of fucking everyone that he decides to fall in love. That's that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I reckon though, if it was you, the curse would be uh, the, everyone would just die lonely. <laughs> you know. We're like we're all right. That's about the, that's, are, that's about the third time you've said if the curse was you, that would be. If you had the curse, if you had the curse. <laughs> I'm thinking of different ways. People oh just God. open the door and like you know what, single life's not so bad. <laughs> then yeah, <laughs> turn down every day at your apartment door. Streams oh, of people walking God. into Rotunda Comedy Club. <laughs> Waiting for a chance to pump you. Uh, um, my favourite scene in the whole film. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you saw this. I didn't see it, right? Until so the minute, the very second this film finished, I turned it off immediately, right? Because it's on Prime. I turned it off immediately. Today, I went back. I was watching something on Prime, right? Um, it's a TV show called Nip Tuck from the 90s. It's about I, plastic I, surgeons. I, I, I remember Nip Tuck, yeah. I remember it was, in, it yeah, was, it's it really was good. Channel 5. It was a Channel 5. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's a lot darker than I I think it was on after it, Grey's but, um, Anatomy for a while. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to watch uh, the rest of an episode of that, but because Good Luck Chuck had stopped before it ended, it was still sitting there in the most recently played. So I accidentally hit that. Right. Now, at the start of the credits, there is an extra scene. Did you watch the extra scene? The extra scene? Tell me I might have. I must have. Did I? This will blow. Oh, well, so, I assume oh, so, by... Eating the penguin's ass. Yes, <laughs> Ryan. Eating the penguin's ass. One of the wildest... There's Marvel so scene. much about this scene <laughs> that so the pal the, who was not even meant the pal who by this point is now married to a woman with three tits <laughs> like, odd, num- three odd tits, number of tits right? yeah. because he loves tits so much the only woman he can love <laughs> is someone with an extra tit his apartment by the way his, his workplace is full of pictures of painted pictures of tits and Pam Anderson tits mm-hmm. yeah yeah so yeah yeah, he buy, he buy he buys he buys Pamela Anderson's uh, silicon implants. He buys them off the internet, is it? And they're not even kept in like a sterile condition. They're kept in a display box, 
and you go that 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 wouldn't they they'd grow mold or something. They wouldn't be in this kind of. You don't keep them on your fucking shelf. Like they'd need to be kept. I'm assuming in some kind of ice box or pack to keep them preserved. It's so good. Um, it's so good. I thought to see to be honest, the CGI they did with the three tits, I was quite impressed with. <laughs> yeah, it was better than Total Recalls. It was better than Total Recall. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the 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 effects for. Ma- Mamaries has massively <laughs> come on leaps and bounds since Total Recall, but I was quite impressed by that. So, them two, fucking pervy, pervy Jim and Three Tits, are now a couple. They're house sitting for a uh, Chuck and Alba, and uh, then so he's searching about, and she says, "What are you looking for?" And he was like, "Sex tapes." Right, so uh, first of all, you're going, why the fuck are you wanting to watch your pal pumping? Genuinely, what the f- what is wrong with you as a human being? <laughs> right? He finds one, right? Whacks it on. She's sitting there topless, just so you can remember that she's got three tits. Yeah. Um, That's right, I forgot about that. Then, it's him and Alba starting getting, getting down to it, right? And then suddenly... A fucking toy penguin appears, and Alba asks him, and it goes. I th- I didn't think it was going to go as far as it actually does. I didn't think. I thought him. I thought him. Dirty talking to the penguin was going to be enough. Then he starts tonguing it on the beak. <laughs> then he lays it. He lays it back, right? And he's like, "Just relax, just relax, right?" And then starts. Going down on the <laughs> penguin. All the while, Alba's like going, "Oh, I love that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so, it's so dirty, right?" And then it takes an even bigger turn. But this point, this is the most mental scene ever. And then it takes another point where he flips over and just starts licking the penguin's ass. <laughs> but then starts getting domineering towards it where he turns its head round and makes makes the penguin look at him while he's licking his ass. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, well, what a way to shit on your... Because uh, it's very funny. It's during credits too. So imagine your big break in Hollywood uh, and your name's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you're, trying, you're, trying, you're trying to oh, show... Oh, this is, this is me. This is me. <laughs> trying to show your parents. Production designer. Ryan Cullen, and there's a penguin being tongued out of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first ever role as key grip. You've got your parents round, your grandparents. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> Dane Cook's, Dane Cook's rimming a penguin. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I have, another, I have another darker theory about this too. I think that he only likes her because, right, he brings her for ice cream and he makes her watch Planes as a date. So I think he thinks she's disabled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's so clumsy. She's she's not she's not right, you know. Or maybe she's knocked herself out so many times. She is now disabled. But anyway, he thinks she's disabled because that's what he keeps bringing her out to do. <laughs> what what did he, what did he, there was a partner where he goes, "What's your type?" And he was like, "Black and blue." F- fucking yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I honestly, I can't, I, it, like genuinely, I know some people had said <laughs> today online that they didn't, they, that this was one film they hadn't seen, because this passed me by when I was growing <laughs> up, when I, well, I, I mean I was fucking 26 when this was released, so it had been worrying if I'd have got yeah. to see this, but um, <laughs> they, uh, it, genuinely people were saying, it doesn't sound like I want to watch it, please Put yourself through it, yeah, yeah, just to realise how incredibly bad this actually yeah, is. Yeah, he gets worse as well at acting the Holy Fruit. Dane Cook it gets slowly, slowly worse, which is oh. really hard to do. But yeah, apart from all the gr- uh, like- for a comedian, <laughs> for a comedian, for none of the jokes in this film to work, not one of them works, not one of them lands. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> oh, God. It's there's a there's a joke there's a joke where it, she's talking about what penguins eat and she's giving him all the penguin chat and he goes oh I thought they'd just go out and get themselves a macro burger <laughs> and you go 
that 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 that's like what, and he, he delivers it like that's going to be a fucking killer. That's going to be the line that. Oh Jesus! Wait till you wait till I drop the macro burger. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I just have a when I had I just had a fucking note here, and it was like the gross sexual malpractice of licking tits of his patients before he makes them bigger. Does he let Does he lick tits? I don't remember the licking the tits. Yes. Yeah. I think he probably. I don't does. remember. And I, I just said, why is the he hot woman doing it with him? Because like he, your man's not cursed; he's just a fucking ugly bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does at one point the pal says that he masturbates to mammograms? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> literally, just. Oh fuck it! You know, Second. Most of the rom coms, much like uh, the the Notebook, this is also basically. Uh, uh, disrespect and boundaries is set is essentially what Ollie's rom com. Yeah, <laughs> that's again. I'll yeah. kill myself if you're. You know, this one was basically uh, stay away from me, uh, and he went and got a job as mm-hmm. a penguin instructor of some sort. He gets a job in the mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. Uh, he gets fucking. He just follows her around. It's it's pretty weird. There's no uh, from the the four or five of counting Love Actually as a rom com as yeah. well. Of the f- of the rom coms we've done, there is not one character in a rom com that isn't a belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one. Yeah, I've not found one likable character in any of these films. Yeah, yet. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, even there's so much. There's just so many levels of bad stuff. Even when he pulls his cock out to the the woman that hexed him, her kid was also behind. Mm. It was the kid, wasn't it? Up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the kids just listening into them talking about it as well. Oh Jesus Christ! He, he re- and uh, how how is how is a woman as well that is now recognised as an actual witch? How has she managed to settle down with such domesticity to have a child? How is she living in the suburbs where? And I'm assuming the dad's still around. So when they were moving, because they couldn't have got into that. That's a nice house. They couldn't have started in that nice house, yeah. right? So when they're moving, at what point is he going to go, see that fucking uh, black shoebox with the the star of the Antichrist on it? <laughs> are, are you needing that? Yes. Yes. That That's very, very... What, what, what the fuck are these Sanskrit writings on the front of it? Why, why are you chanting backwards? <laughs> I don't know if I want to have a child with you. You fucking witch. <laughs> They're like listening to the Beatles backwards. He goes, no, it's not backwards. I played it backwards, then forwards, and then backwards again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the guy's ideas was to uh, marry her while she's asleep. <laughs> yeah. That's... The priest would be asking some questions. We're just avoiding the curse. <laughs> We're just avoiding... <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, yeah. It, it, oh. You, uh, have the the last thing I kind of have here is the fact that they she was like, "You have to let go." Remember, they're like, "You have got to let go of her." And his idea to mm. let go was to ring up the book guy to set him up with Jessica Alba. That's mm. not letting go. That yeah, just pimp that's it out. Not letting, just pimp that's, it out. That's yeah. insane. That's like that's so fucked up. That's not a <laughs> that's not letting go. It's the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. See that, because um, cause she, she makes a thing about this. I I know Sloss used to do material on this, where there's a the thing about penguins where a penguin will search the entire tundra for the perfect pebble for the mate, because they're like monogamous creatures. I think that, that, that'll be why they use penguins in this, as opposed to she's just into fucking antelopes <laughs> or some shit. Right, so... At the end, he gives her a box, a ring box. I see. And it makes her look like, because he's such a psychopath, they're like, oh, he's giving her a ring now. And it's a, it's a pebble. It's a perfect pebble. I see. And I was, like, praying that, because this was so mental, I was praying it was just, like, a wee jobby inside it. <laughs> it would, be like, the, it, it would <laughs> be, like, the seventh most crazy thing they have happened in this film. Exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> totally believable. <laughs> Totally believable. Oh, Nobody was good. Uh, Nobody oh. was fun. Everybody was deeply enjoyable. No. Creepy, weird bastards. No. The comedy relief in a comedy film was also not funny. A disaster yeah. strip film. I'll never 
<laughs> I'll never watch this film ever, ever again. <laughs> never. Unless it's to show someone how shite yeah, it is. Yeah. But fuck me. What? Oh, my God. I almost hate you for making me watch it, but I also like the fact that we've been allowed to talk about it because I, 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 I remember it in my head and I go, I remember that being dreadful when I was a teenager, so maybe it's the same. I'm fucking amazed you found it in a charity <laughs> shop. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gen- yeah. I mean, I'm not amazed that someone gave it away, but I'm like amazed anyone bought it in I, the first place. I saw place. Good Luck Chuck and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe. Yeah, yeah. They're like oh. unrated. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Oh, we've not even talked about the fact that he he, f- he pumps a grapefruit. Uh, the, the, cl- right. the, the pal the pal drills a hole in a grapefruit, puts it in the microwave to warm it up, and then fucks it. Fucks it while he's got what is what is like a, a shoe polish brush up his ass <laughs> to tickle his prostate. <laughs> like a grapefruit isn't a grape it's a citrus fruit. It would sting like fuck. Like there's so m- I'm seeing this as if I'm an expert. There's so many other large fruits that you could pump. <laughs> and if you're there, a watermelon would. Yeah, be th- and if you're also there, oh no, you can't. You can't do. Yeah, you're the seeds. You can't do a watermelon. Yeah, you can't do the watermelon. Next, seeds, t- next melon. time you come, t- you take honey- it out. <laughs> Pew. Yeah. Smash a window. <laughs> but like a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> A honeydew melon. I think that would be my fruit of choice. And you'd also, if you're in the, the just get a cucumber or something. If you're going to do the whole prostate thing as well, while you're there, ah, you exactly. mix in implements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stick to fruit, <laughs> or, 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 or it'd be fine if he was using that, and then he was just having a wank with a pair of tongs. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, at least it. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. At least he's, yeah. At least he's sticking. Oh, Jesus. Right, well, that... I totally forgot about that. He pumped a grapefruit. There's too much in it. All right. That's... Right. Um, That's pretty... Next yeah. week uh, is my choice, and I don't have it. It's sitting through in yep. the room, and I don't want to go and wake up uh, my wife to get it. Um, but we are doing the... I think this is the first Tom Cruise film we've done. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. it's... I don't think we've done one, but so we're doing Mission yes. Impossible. Yes. Yes. Next week, which is class, uh, so that should be that should be good fun. Um, I so you're obviously in Australia yeah. every night. Best of British. <laughs> Don't even start. Don't even. Start. I'm still getting messages about it. Like, and, and you've started other people doing it. Anytime I put it up, people people are just sending emojis of like Union Jacks, and I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. You honestly think I've not told people specifically <laughs> to do? It's <laughs> so like fucking leave it out, people. <laughs> Leave it out. <laughs> Somebody at the show, by the way, was a um, massive so, absolute cuts fan. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. So that's we got good. one that. That's good because I've I haven't I have noticed our numbers haven't been up <laughs> in Australia <laughs> thus far. <laughs> uh, so quite a bit of work to do there, <laughs> right. Ryan. I'm, just, I'm not saying. Like All right. Why come every time I go on holidays? Basically, it, it's like uh, we'll see if Ryan's got any pull whatsoever here. <laughs> we got one. No, no one from um, Dubai. So what? Um, so what time every night? Uh, I'm at eight fifteen every night. Bar it turns to seven o'clock from March third, but I'm also doing shows at like two thirty sometimes and five forty five, and there's a late show at ten forty five sometimes. So there's a couple. That's at the weekends oh, mostly, but every night there tends to be one at eight fifteen, basically. Grand, grand. Um, when do you reckon this this will go? Out? This is going out tomorrow. I don't tomorrow morning, it. I'll have this out. Because I can do it during the day. The, the funny okay. thing is, it'll be pure during the day for you, or during the night for you guys during the day here. So I, I can go about my day and do it. Ah, that's right. cool. Yeah, I'm just looking at dates. Well, once you get this, um, if you are an Elgin Le- or Inverness, yes. then come along to two shows. Um, Elgin has 25 tickets left, and Inverness has about 35, I think. Yeah. Um, so I. And then the uh, weekend after that is Birmingham at the Glee uh, on the 9th of March. And on the 10th of March, it's Alexander's in Chester. Nice. But And then I'll fill you in about all the other ones after that. I feel, um, like, I feel like if you're... If, if, I can't tell if this even worked, the video-wise, you know. So if we're, if this is going up on yeah. YouTube, you have to thank our sponsor, StreamYard. <laughs> just says there's a big... <laughs> powered by StreamYard. Yes. Thank you, StreamYard. <laughs> uh 
Sh- yeah. Streamyard for for all your trans <laughs> trans specific needs. <laughs> trans uh, of all. But yeah, um again, uh thanks so much for listening. You made last week last week's Armageddon episode was our most popular <laughs> yes. yet. By quite some distance. Uh so cheers for that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this fucking car <laughs> crash of a film. Um and uh, yeah, I'm 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 as excited as you to see how this video it comes out. Turns yeah. out. So <laughs> um well enjoy the zoo. To get fucking Stanley Kubrick in, they do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you see a red panda, then take a photo of a red panda and we'll stick it up I on will. the socials. I fucking will. Get Mick or Mickey to uh, hold it down. Fucking Mickey will probably Mickey will probably fight the cunt. So uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Um. Say hello to the boys for me oh, as well, and uh, we shall see you uh, for another episode. Uh, hands across the water uh, next <laughs> week. Thank yeah. you. Bye bye. <laughs>